mystery, desperate to catch him, to find my girlfriend, to save her. Max, sorry I woke you. Shh, it's a secret. You must tell no one. You better answer that. We need to hit the place now. Pain's in there. They know that you know. You must run. Max Payne! Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head! This is your final warning! Run, Payne, run! We are gonna shoot! Bring them down. Shoot to kill.
You don't need a lawyer. Just tell us what you did. Pain, you're done. Everything you say will be used against you. What are you hiding? She's alive, isn't she? People get near you, they die. You killed your family. You killed them all. Confess. Do I get my phone call? You already got it. Don't push your luck. Sit down. We're just getting started. Hey, sit down now. Don't get any bright ideas. Put it down. Put it down now. Drop your weapon. Max. My hero. When you're waking up, the world is a blur. What was clear in a dream suddenly makes no sense. No surreal rescues, no easy, magic way out. But you are awake. I had woken up to a knock at my door. Mona, I was wondering when you'd show up. Max, I'm not here to kill you. Aren't you going to ask me in? You are in danger. Both of us are. There's a contract out on us. There's no us in this. You're a murder suspect. I should take you in. I was hiding behind the badge. The real thing is never what you think it will be. Sniper! They found me. This was a mistake. Wait, Mona! She had woken me up. She had come and gone, and now I was being shot at. I had to catch her, find out what was going on. Hey! Something was barring the door from the other side. I've called the police. They're coming to take you away. They jammed the elevator. No one's... Oh, no, you won't. Get out. Get out. No one's driving me out of my home. Careful with that gun, lady. The detective from 304? I have another gun like this if you need it.
I didn't want to shoot. He gave me no choice. This is my home. I have a right to defend it. Max here. I'm at home. Cleaners have hit the building. I'm the target. They come in numbers. I need help. My lord. Max? Okay, hang on. We're on our way. We'll get you out. Hurry. My lord, I... I was... Oh, this is so difficult. My lady? My lord, I came to see you, but now that I'm here, I can see that this was a dreadful mistake. My lady, no. Surely I... My lord, I should go. Should anyone see you together, your reputation would be ruined. My lady, stay. My lord, please, forgive me. My lady! After the break, an all-new episode of Lords and Ladies. Kaufman wants us taken care of. Let's just find a guy so we can off him and go home. Know what this is? The finale. The climax before... A noise, a noise woke me up. Such a nice young man, coming to see an old lady like me. Just passing through, ma'am. Such a nice boy. Not like the ones upstairs. They say they're renovating, but it's too quiet. They're up to no good. The doctor gave me pills for my hip, but it's all better now. You should take them. You look a bit pinched, dear. They're in the bathroom. With all these cleaners, you'd think that the place would be neater. I've heard them talking in the corridor. Peeping Toms. Oh, I remember sunlit days in the countryside with my Ben. Or was that something I saw on TV?
We've been waiting for this. Shoot! <laughs> I heard a noise, a noise with me up. Such a nice young man, coming to see an old lady like me. Just passing through, ma'am. Such a nice boy. Not like the ones upstairs. They say they're renovating, but it's too quiet. They're up to no good. The doctor gave me pills for my hip, but it's all better now. You should take them. You look a bit pinched, dear. They're in the bathroom. With all these cleaners, you'd think that the place would be neater. I've heard them talking in the corridor. Being toms. Oh, I remember sunlit I found the sniper's hideout. The room bed. was full of surveillance equipment. They've been spying on me for days, TV? weeks. Months, even. My every action observed, recorded, analyzed. The place was the proof every paranoiac dreams of. Leave a message. Hey, where are you? You're late again. Look, this insomnia crap isn't fooling anyone. I know what it's like. I, I just want to help. You should come to an AA meeting with me. Thank you for calling Dangerous Liaisons. For Candy, press 1. For Sandy, press 2. For Mona, press 3. You press 3 for Mona. Hi, this is Mona. What's your name? I just need someone to talk to. Honey, this is a phone sex line. All we do is talk. Right. It's... How do you fix something like that? How do you make amends? I thought it would help, but it only made it worse. Just give me your credit card number and I can listen to you all night. Killing them all only made it worse. It didn't bring them back. Hey, what are you, some kind of weirdo? Sorry, this was... Sorry. Home is where your heart is. Simple. Not like in a movie where the hero gets a chance to disarm the bomb. Once upon a time, it had been a house in the suburbs. He opens the door, and boom! Now, nothing was left of it. I wasn't happy about the way the cleaners were doing their job. It's not the same thing. I'm telling you, I understand.
They jammed the elevator. I wasn't going to get through without the code. Behind the door were the suites. They weren't an improvement on the regular apartments. They're crazy. No, they want to see me out. Thanks, fellas. You saved me. They barred the door from the outside. These are terrible times. The tyranny of cleaners. Right. Any other way out? Up the roof, maybe. With the pigeons. You need the code to the seventh floor. Ed knows it. You know Ed, the janitor. Poor Ed. These crazy cleaners have invaded his turf. It's a late goodbye. Hey, hey! NYPD. I need the code at the seventh floor door. Sure, sure. I know it. I know it. Wait. Oh, yeah. 667. <laughs> Neighbor of the beast. Get it? Yeah. I get it. Okay. You stay here. Okay. In our headlights, fair and bleak. What's so funny?
Welcome back to our return to sender. Make sure a new crack appeared with every gunshot. I had abandoned all conventional methods of navigation. I was following the bloody signs he kept leaving me. He was watching me do it. Pleased to meet you, dearest of all my friends. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vladimir Lev. I invite you.
The explosion in my apartment had started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher.
I had to get down to the street. What's so funny? Mona had come through here, the dead cleaner's a sign of her passage. starts. Yeah, no sweat. <clears throat> Used to be 
on his job. <laughs> I was a cop like you. All right, follow my lead. Yeah, <laughs> I was a cop. <laughs> Cost me my marriage. Long hours. The gas terrified. from the broken Someone pipe was feeding the flames. Me. I couldn't get through. I busted my hump. She up and left me. Ah, oh, sure. Started hitting the bottle. <laughs> Anyone would have. <laughs> my boss busted me for drinking. <laughs> Set the rat squad loose on me. Well, that was the end of that. <laughs> I blame the system. Bunch of... bunch of hypocrites. Goddamn slime bags, open up! There are people trapped in here! Oh, the sons of bitches have locked the door! Are you coming to my rescue? Something like that. We need to get out. You could probably get out through a window on the third floor, if you can kill the flames. A girl's gotta protect herself. I'm Violet. gas valve was in the utility room.
the gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem. <laughs> hey, you do your job and you know the outcome. They hit you home? It's like a friggin' kindergarten out there. What next? 
A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me. About Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Cogniti is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners. I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gogniti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence. But that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught.
There had been no lock on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms, or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. a linear sequence of scares. They can believe it is the only choice given. It makes you think about free will. Have John our choices Mira. been made for yes. us because of this who we he. are? This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. was behind the backdrops, getting warm. When I'd first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. It must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. to you in part by Gold Touch Brandy. Going somewhere, little brother? My lord, Jack, what on earth? Why are you lurking here in darkness? Are you... Are you... The weapons and explosions and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. If the other one is no lord to begin with. It is not I whose actions are in question here, Valentine. Where do you think you are going at this ungodly hour? 
such a lady. Who put you up on this shameful errand? Mama! Leave our parents out of this. Papa, the esteemed sheriff of York, was well on his way to recovery from the consumption when the news of you carrying on with that wench. I Papa will be dead because of you. And I will be the head of the family. Continue seeing her at your own peril. Are you threatening me, my lord? I will cut you off, Valentine. That and worse. I bid you good night, brother. That and worse, brother. <laughs> and that we keep and driving worse. into the night. Hunter Magazine says it is the best costume drama since the tragic affairs of Jonathan Nightingale. Elegance says it has more melodrama than the award-winning A Sudden Loss of Innocence. Silk and Lace gives it five handkerchiefs. Lords and Ladies continues with all new episodes. Castling Insurance Companies, because your home is your castle. For more information, call now, 555-CASTLE. This week, television is as fun as mirrors. Two days and two nights non-stop. The cult series, Address Unknown. And we keep driving into the night. It's a late goodbye, such a late goodbye. And we keep driving. Now I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guards set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here, so we can stay in touch. You operate the elevator from here, and I'll go up. I'll go up. You're the man, man. I have the floor 
got plans in front of me. I can guide you through. How come you're alive, anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. Your place or mine, Jesus. You're jealous. The door's locked. Try the door on the far right, next to the large painting. You can get to Corcoran's place through the balcony. Well, that's just... Hey! They're cleaning other apartments as well. Corcoran said that other Inner Circle members live in the building. Found a body, a thin guy in a suit. Not Corcoran. He's a big man. Fat. I'm Close going upstairs. Strip it down. Papers, photos, everything needs to go. This place needs to be cleaner it's ever been. Kaufman's orders. If and when the CSI crew gets here, it needs to look like a black hole materialized in here and sucked every print, every hair, every mote of dust away. Like someone went back in a time machine and killed his parents before they met. Like this guy never existed. Let's do it. Almost done. <laughs> the fat man. <laughs> We're late. He's dead. You need to get out of there. We need to leave now. More cleaners in the lobby coming your way. I wasn't ready to go. Not without a single piece of evidence. In the photo, a group of men posing in front of a manor house. Corcoran was there. Senator Gate was there. So was Alfred Woden. So it was true. All bets were off. The inner circle was involved.
Everything okay up there? Something's gone wrong. I just know it. I told you already. We're much better off than they were. They were on a stakeout when it happened. Stakeout wears you down. It numbs you. Then when you have to be ready all of a sudden, you're not. We, on the other hand, got adrenaline on our side. We're ready. We can handle it. Whether it's a crazy jumper or a cop or the killer broad or whatever it's going to be. She's worse than him. We can handle it. Kaufman will take care of it. There! Mona, what next? More of them in the lobby ahead. What was he on? down this way. I'm working on it. Starting to sound like a broken record here. More cleaners to the right, in the lobby, behind the door. Thanks. Hey! Get in here now! Get in here! Mayday, wake up! I went, the payphone started to ring. Finally, I collected enough courage to answer one. Ideas, Max. 
I'll check the apartment the cleaner was guarding. Why would I risk my life on a window cleaner's lift when I can use the elevator? Don't know. For fun. The thrill of it. Like bungee jumping. Extreme sports. You know. Don't get it. That's something for stupid kids with a death wish. I don't need to die to feel I'm alive. This isn't exactly a job without its hazards, what we are doing. Granted, but we get paid for doing this. Money's the difference. A guy will put up with all kinds of crazy shit for money. Mona, I found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? I don't know. I just... just wanted to say... Damn it. Mona? Mona? Mona! Down there, he's gonna get away! Say hi to the pavement, sucker! Nothing had worked out as planned. I had to find another way down to the lobby.
goddamn! Die! Damn! Find him, take care of him. Shoot! Shoot! <laughs> Why had she come to me in the first place? For help? For something she wasn't telling me? NYPD, freeze! Easy! Don't move! Payne, what are you doing? What are you doing? The million dollar question I didn't have the answer to. What were you thinking? Were you thinking at all? I was following a lead. She was helping me. She is a fugitive murder suspect, for Christ's sakes. I was trying to save those people from the cleaners. The two cases are connected, mine and Winterson's. Senator Gate was killed by the cleaners. They are connected. Winterson can have them both. She doesn't back you up. I was doing my job. I'm sorry to do this, Payne, but it's for your own good. Hand me your guns. I'm putting you to a desk job. Start by writing a report on what the hell happened on the Upper East Side. Fraternizing with the enemy, I had stepped over the edge. The cartoon moment when the gravity waits for the coyote to realize his mistake before the plunge. Get yourself to a counselor. You're falling apart. When you're ready to go to AA, come talk to me. Get your act together. I get someone in here to help me with this mess. I was mad. At myself. At Prevora. At Mona. Was she worth this? Don't envy you. The way the boss goes on about it. No use going in there to clean up. Let him cool off a bit. You better just write that report.
Right. We found you out of it on the covered in blood. The pieces. The guy under a rose bush in the backyard. It was all connected. The murder of Senator Gate, the cleaners, the inner circle, Vinnie Gognitti. I had to make Winterson see it. Winterson's phone was ringing. She wasn't at her desk. Winterson's phone. Better get Winterson. She's been kind of edgy about her calls. I think she's in the interrogation room getting a statement from a witness. I want to report a crime. You've come to the right place. Oh, my boyfriend, the loser jerk, sits on his ass all day and keeps playing these stupid video games. You know, stupid dick justice and stuff. Doesn't go to work. Real sick of it. I thought about walking away, vanishing into the right? night. I couldn't do it. Mama, I tried to stop him, but he is beyond reason. Beyond reason. Valentine has gone to a rendezvous with his mistress. A harlot. She is no lady. A oh, good, good Jack Mice. I wouldn't be afraid to go home if you'd be there. I can give you my number in case you ever get an urge to protect someone in the middle of the night.
I needed to talk to Mona. Behind bars, she wasn't going anywhere before I'd get some answers. The cells were downstairs. Want to get to the lockup? Just press the buzzer by the door. Petersburg will buzz you in. Yeah? Payne here. I need a statement from Mona Sachs. Sorry, Payne. She's upstairs in a lineup. Number one, thank you. You may step back. They can't see you through the glass. Just take your time. See if you can recognize any of them, okay? Yeah, okay. Number two, step forward and speak the line you were given. <laughs> I can't read. Just say the line number one said. You think I was listening? You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. <laughs> Stupid. You're nothing but a one-armed bandit. Thank you. Step back, number two. Number three. You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. Aren't I supposed to identify any of the men in jumpsuits? That's none of your concern. Just concentrate on the task at hand. Do you recognize any of them? Yeah. Number three's the one. Thank you. Okay, we're done. Take them away. Okay, ladies, you heard her. This way. You can wait here. Someone will come to get you once the paperwork is done. I tried to help you, Max, but you didn't listen. Now it's too late. Detective Payne, anything you'd like to add? As I was trying to tell the other detective, the place was crawling with guys in gray overalls. They sure as hell weren't cleaning the place, but she wasn't too keen on listening to me. It's hard to say who was out to kill who, but the chick I just fingered and the men in jumpsuits, they got into a serious firefight. Okay, thanks. No, thank you. They're taking the fall, both of them. Payne was with her when she was arrested. Who are you talking to? You're leaking information. Bravura's too soft on you. I was informing the proper authorities on what they sh should know. Stay away from my case, Max. Stay away for your own good. Everything had started out as black and white. Somewhere down the road, the line went blurry. The colors started to run, got smudged and gray. Winterson had been above my suspicion. It felt like a goodbye. The lineup was done. Mona was back in her cell. Payne here. I need a statement from one of your customers. 
Mona Sachs. The last pokey down the corridor to your left. <laughs> not again, Jesus, not again. Just... Max, you've got to get me out of here. You know I can't do that. If I stay here, I'll die. Isn't that a bit melodramatic? Behind bars, I'm a sitting duck. This is as safe as it gets. Come on, Max. Any one of these cops could be on the Inner Circle's payroll. You should know. What's that supposed to mean? You know Alfred Woden. You want answers? Call him. He'll verify everything I've told you. Okay, I'll do that. I didn't want to have anything to do with Woden. I should have called him the moment the Inner Circle was mentioned. Can I use your phone? There's one through the door behind you. You can use that. You never lie. I mean, sure, I'd be okay if we had Hannibal Lecter in custody every night, as long as he keeps his stomach content. I need to make a call. You can use this phone. Play some hoops later on? Your funeral. You've reached the voicemail of Senator Alfred Woden. Please leave a message. Woden, Max Payne. We need to have a talk. Have a talk. You ask me, you still owe me. Jesus Christ! A bomb? That was a bomb! Upstairs! Stairs! Now! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Upstairs! Now! Something was off. Mona's words on her being a sitting duck kept playing in my head. The bomb had misdirection written all over. Drop it! Oh! Arm perps in the locker. Officer down. Take him down. Find the bitch. Find her. Kill her. NYPD, drop your gun. Ah! Mona had been right. I had to go after her. I needed a gun. I needed a gun to get past the cleaners. Help! Somebody! Officer down! Staying here, trapped behind a desk, would have solved nothing. Mona had vanished into the night. Without her, I had nothing to go on. I knew where to find her. Have no fear. Vlad is here. The world was getting too small for comfort. Too many coincidences. Bang! You're dead, Max Payne. A giant-headed Captain Baseball Bat Boy costume lay in the back seat. Gearing up for Halloween? Max, dearest of all my friends, call it my Trojan horse in the war Vinnie Gogniti started. Speaking of which, any news? Do me a favor. Drop me off at Coney Island. Does the inner circle ring any bells? Nothing mystical about them, even if they themselves would like to think so. Just one step up the ladder of organized crime. I see where you're going with this. Gogniti has made a deal with them. What about Mona Sachs? I know of her. Her reputation as a hired killer. I hear she is a stone fox. I would fuck her. Right then. I hated Vlad. 
Max, I need to ask your advice as a friend. Ask. Hypothetically, if the only choice you've got is to do the wrong thing, then it's not really the wrong thing. It's more like fate. You have to do what you have to do. It's never that easy. Of course. We agree to disagree. Why was I there again? Wait! Wait just a minute. Talk to me. What are you so afraid of? What do you want from me? The things that I want by Max Payne. The smoke. A whiskey. For the sun to shine. I want to sleep to forget. To change the past. My wife and baby girl back. Unlimited ammo and a license to kill. Right then, more than anything, I wanted her. Let's do it! You led them here. Up to my place. We can take them there. This way! Max! The trouble with wanting something is the fear of losing it. And never getting it. The thought makes you weak.